Hello, Pankhurst, and welcome to your second talk for writing lesson um, this week. So before I introduce the second lesson to you, let's just discuss about yesterday. So yesterday's lesson was um, based on your text map. So you should have practiced your text map and written um, the text map out. So while I was looking on tapestry, I saw some amazing pieces of work. So I saw amazing um amazing work with the te um, text map pad being written out. Now, your learning objective today is can I extend my sentences by using a relative clause? Okay. Today, we are going to make our sentences more complex and interesting by using a relative clause. As a reminder, a main clause is a simple sentence that can stand alone. It includes a subject and a verb, yeah? So it's a simple sentence which um, can be by itself and it includes a subject and a verb. So for example, this sentence um, says, the boy walked to school. The subject of the sentence is the boy because that is who the sentence is about. So he's the subject. And the verb is walked. So the doing word is walked. So what the subject did all right fantastic now a relative clause adds further detail to a sentence by relating directly to the main clause it usually uses words such as who which or that okay so it adds more a relative clause adds more detail and it's directly related to the main clause now Let's have a look at this and see how we turned it into a relative clause. The boy, who is the subject, who was feeling upset, walked to school. So where I have um, the part of the sentence highlighted, in, I mean, underlined in purple, which says who was feeling upset, that gives more detail to the sentence, yeah? like but by adding the emotion or just something more about the subject so that is your relative clause because it has more detail walked to school so where i've got walked to school underlined in red that was your main clause so the two um the part of the sentence the parts of the sentence which are underlined in red are your main clause so your main sentence and then we added further detail to that sentence by writing the part of the sentence highlighted in purple and we used the word who and then we also used an emotion okay the main clause sorry the main clause could stand alone as a simple sentence, but the relative clause cannot. So what this means is when I have the main clause of the sentence, which says the boy walked to school, that is a sentence by itself, which can make sense, which does make sense. So if I was to say the boy walked to school, that makes sense by itself. OK, so it can stand alone by itself. So it can be a sentence on its own. But if I was to say who was feeling upset, so ignore the main clause. If I was to say who was feeling upset, that's not a sentence. That doesn't mean anything at all. That doesn't mean anything at all. Because if I was to say who was feeling upset, you'll be thinking who, what, what is Mrs. Merza talking about? So a relative clause cannot be a sentence by itself if you saw it written somewhere however a main clause can be a sentence um by itself so it does make sense you add a relative clause to a sentence to give it further detail now the boy who was feeling upset walked to school put your thinking caps on OK, what else do you notice about our new sentence? Was anything else added to this sentence when we added the relative clause? So what I'd like you to do is pause the screen and discuss with the person, uh, discuss with someone at home or just have a good think about these questions. And when you're ready, you can come back to the screen. OK, well done. So. What else did you notice about our new sentence? So we have used our relative clause word, which is who. But was there anything else added to this sentence when we added the relative clause? 
yeah so the other thing i added was an emotion so that gave it further detail much more detail yeah so the boy who which is your relative clause word was feeling upset which is further detail added to your relative clause walk to school now here are some helpful tips for you the relative clause is usually added after the noun so the subject is your noun okay and the noun is your subject in the sentence so the relative clause is added after your noun and before the verb when adding in a relative clause you need to follow these steps you find the noun okay so remember do you remember what a noun is yeah a noun is a name of a place a name of a person a name of an um a, a name of an object so a table is a noun um this is a noun scarf because that's the name of this item this object you put in a comma so after your noun, you put in a comma. So let's go back. If you were to look here, where it says the boy, there's a comma here, yeah? So you find the noun, you put in the comma, you write either who, which, or that. It needs to be one of these words. You finish the relative clause and you put a comma at the end of the relative clause. So let's go back and have a look at this. I'm just going to rub this off for you to show you the steps. So let's give this a good, let's rub it all off. Now, highlighter. Now, so I found my subject, which is the boy, and then I've got my comma. Then I've got my relative clause word, which is who, okay? Then I have finished off my relative clause. Yeah. Then I've added a comma at the end of my relative clause. So I found my subject, which is my noun. I put a comma after it once I wrote the subject. Then I put in my relative clause word, which is who? which and that then i finished off my relative clause sentence and i added a comma on the end now let's go back to this so it says at the top over here how can we add further detail to this sentence so what I would like you to do is on a scrap piece of paper, um, you know, let's just improve these sentences. Now, it says the man was waiting in a queue. What I would like you to do is pause the screen and um, improve the sentence for me. So when you are ready, come back. Okay, so it should be the man, comma, man is the subject who was a sailor comma was waiting in the queue so now you have your subject your comma then you have your relative clause who was a sailor so who is your relative clause word then you finished off your sentence and you used a comma was waiting in the queue so let's just recap if i was to say the man was waiting in the queue that is the main clause and that does make sense but if i was to only say who was a sailor that does not make sense by itself that relative clause does not make sense by itself now try this one the snarling beast roared with all his might. Can you pause the screen now and improve that for me? Um, and improve that for me. Fantastic. 
Now, with the improvements, by adding in all the relative clause and steps, this is what the sentence should look like. The snarling beast, so I've got my noun, which is my subject, my comma, then I have my relative clause word, I finished off my relative clause, and then I've got another comma. So the sentence says, the snarling beast who had breath that smelled like rotting eggs roared with all his might. Remember, the parts of the sentence in red are the main clause, which means they make sense by themselves. OK, but the part of the sentence in purple, which is the relative clause, does not make sense by itself. Let's try this one now. So it says the girl walked into the classroom, pause the screen and add in your relative clause steps. When you are ready, unpause. Now, your sentence should look something like this. The girl who was very excited walked into the classroom. So again, I've got my subject, which is my noun, then my comma, which is step two, then my relative clause word, which can be who, which, and that. Then I have finished off my relative clause and added a comma on the end. Fantastic. So now it is your turn. On the next couple of pages, I have activities for you. What you need to do is pick an activity to complete. Please make sure you choose the appropriate activity for you. OK. Activity one, you've got your relative clause words at the top and your activity is write out these sentences, filling in the blank with to, with who, which or that. It needs to make sense. So, for example, the first one says the cat something was old. Fell asleep on the sofa. Which word do you think will best suit that sentence? Have a good think about it. OK, now let's try. The cat, which was old, fell asleep on the sofa. Mm, that doesn't quite make sense. Yeah, the cat that was old fell asleep on the sofa. Mm, not really. How about the cat who was old fell asleep on the sofa? That sounds better. Now, activity two is, I want you to fix my boring sentences by making them interesting. Please add in a relative clause. So like we were practicing earlier, I have my main clause sentence here. And what I would like you to do here, I would like you to extend these sentences by adding in relative clauses. So for example, you could write, my friend, comma um my friend comma is um, uh, um that is a uh, that is um lovely is brilliant at quizzes yeah then you have an extension and your extension is to write your own sentences that include a relative clause. So Pankhurst, what you need to do is you need to go back to activity one or activity two. Remember to choose the best one that suits you. OK, pause the screen on that activity and complete your activity. Then move forward back to this page to do your extension. Now, once you have done your work, please remember to upload it on Tapestry and I'm looking forward to seeing your amazing sentences. Goodbye.